hello guys welcome to my channel and today I am going to talk about WSL2 and we are going to see a couple of things that you should know about WSL2 okay so let's get started so what is WSL2 so I've highlighted some definitions for you so as you can see it is the new version for WSL which supports the executable linkable format 64 EFL 64 binaries okay and uh, the individual Linux distributions that we have that can run on either WSL1 or WSL2 and uh, we can switch back and forth uh, uh, in between the WSL version 1 and 2 okay and you can also run it side by side and the major improvement in the WSL2 was you know it uses entirely new architecture and benefits from running a real Linux kernel okay here you can see the com comparing features so as you can see WSL1 was missing these three features which is uh, even though there is a performance across OS file system uh, but uh, the Linux kernel full Linux kernel is missing full system call compatibility is missing and managed VM is missing as well okay next thing is about the installation so if you have Windows 10 installed make sure that uh, you fall you fall in this category okay so uh, you have to have build 1903 or higher with build this or higher okay for x64 x and then for arm 64 you have to have 2004 or higher okay so enable uh, windows subsystem for linux as you can see this is the command i will post the links in the description below okay so don't worry about that so yeah basically uh, 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 first of all you will be enabling this feature so you can either do this by this command or you can go to turn windows feature on and off and you can do it from there so let me just show you that to you quickly so this is the WSL windows subsystem for Linux so you can enable it from here as well that's perfectly fine okay uh, another thing is you have to check the requirements so make sure you uh, fall in the category okay and uh, enable virtual machine features so for that we have to we have to fire this command okay and when you whenever you fire a command press windows x and start powershell as administration okay and try to run the commands in here as a administrative prompt or elevated prompt we call it okay now uh, even though uh, we uh, supply the flag no restart but sometimes i feel like you know i it's better to restart so my suggestion would be go ahead after these commands these three steps uh, restart your system and then download this Linux kernel package now what is this package this package is basically uh, like this which is a WSL update which is kind of 14 MB okay go ahead download it from here it's from Microsoft site and install it on your system once that is done then basically uh, what you can do is depending upon your choice but I would suggest to go with WSL2 so you can using this command you can see uh, you can set your version to WSL2 so if I just go here, remember to run it as an elevated prompt and then say WSL hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version to 2. Okay, so this is how it is. And now if I just say WSL hyphen V, then you can see all the commands are there. Hyphen V is not actually the command, but uh, set version is the command set default version is the command and set default terminate and couple of other things okay we're gonna talk about it hyphen fn version so uh, there are multiple commands but yeah we can try this later so this is how you will set the default version okay now uh, you can open Microsoft Store and install any uh, version you like so if I just go ahead and open Microsoft Store then just search for WSL and here you can see you have multiple versions like Ubuntu you have Alpine Linux we have Kali Linux Debian and uh, OpenSUSE and many more okay so we can just install any version you like any you can install any version you like okay uh, once that is done in my case I have uh, installed Ubuntu probably you will be doing the same so Ubuntu 2004 LT 20.04 20 LTS okay which is the long term release uh, long term support and uh, by default when you install it from Microsoft Store basically it will be uh, in WSL1 so how to check that out using this command uh, now for this command you don't necessarily have to uh, run it as administrator you just want to check 
you can launch your normal command prompt and you can check it from there as well wsl hyphen hyphen list and then hyphen hyphen verbose so you can see currently uh, this uh, state is stopped and the version I'm using is one and how to upgrade to this so let me just show you something else so if I just launch this Ubuntu and I have installed a docker on this uh, 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 Ubuntu okay so if I just say docker hyphen V you can see that I also have I believe docker compose and yeah I also have docker compose let me just go to my uh, projects directory and uh, or or basically docker is not started so if I just do uh, docker d then you can see it needs to be started as root but when I uh, say like sudo docker d then you can see it fails now I have searched for this particular thing but mostly what I get was like how to use WSL2 for docker not like how to run docker inside of a uh, uh, distribution Linux distro which is running on WSL so I believe this is this is due to what you know we talked uh, previously like we don't have a managed VM support these three features which are missing so maybe full Linux kernel and these are required for docker because if you see the log we are not getting the IP tables right this one uh, okay so let me just close this again uh, we'll go back to our a version thing okay and let me just go next and as you can see here uh, we have we have listed it so I'm currently having uh, open to 2004 so I will just set WSL hyphen hyphen set version to distribution name my distribution name is this and then there is a version number so 2 so you can see conversion in progress now it will be converting uh, you know doing some configuration and uh, now then I can uh, run this in WSL version 2 uh, that's it I mean that that's it for the command line purpose okay after that you this is the important path so if you just enter WSL dollar then you can see uh, it is like of a network thing okay but you have to have the your WSL running so let me just go over here and it is still converting conversion in, is in progress so let's wait for it uh, I don't know it will take some time but not longer not too long yeah conversion is complete let's go back here to our file system and try to refresh this now uh, maybe I will have to run the Ubuntu again and when I do that if I just refresh this then you can see so this is the important path WSL dollar so which we have here and this is my entire system now let me just check the status of docker docker D needs to be started starting starting up needs to be started this okay sudo docker D one so now you can see docker daemon has completed initialization so now docker is started so as I said that that is due to the uh, reasons that li full Linux kernel support is not there and full system call support is not there basically uh, let me just stop it uh, and let me just say docker hyphen v and I don't know what is that uh, service service hyphen hyphen S T A T U S hyphen all and if we see docker so docker services stopped so let me just do one thing I will just say sudo docker d and I will just do ampersand so that it uh, it's gonna block my command uh, terminal anyway so I will just you know go through this thing but since my docker service is now up and running so let me just uh, also you can get a windows terminal that's another thing this is also you can get this from Microsoft Store. So where is my Microsoft Store? And if I just search for Windows Terminal, then you can get this Windows Terminal. 
the good thing about it is that there will be one more you know one less character and you will get more power so what I mean by that is whenever we run usually run CMD we just type Windows R and then type CMD now you just have to type WT which is for Windows Terminal you can hit enter and uh, Windows Terminal will be launched and here we have couple of options like, like you can say Azure Cloud Shell and this is my currently my WSL distribution so I am now writing WSL so that's that is the you know cool cool thing also there are a lot of customization options uh, on windows terminal but i'm yet to explore that part uh, for this tutorial let's not worry about that and uh, let's see uh, if uh, everything works so if i just say to cd slash home slash projects uh, okay let me just go to wsl sudo apt install wsl okay so okay i'm inside linux currently so if i just do ls then you can see these are my documents but this is not where i want it to be i want it to be in uh, uh you know actually uh, uh what we can say this is the mounted volume basically mnt okay so just let me just cd to slash home and now i'm in slash home so here you can have access to the entire you can see entire window system so you have slash mnt slash c so you have my c drive is mounted and let me just clear the screen if I do ls so we have cd to scitech cd to projects then and do ls cd to dockerization project I have and there is a php my admin uh, something that I wanted to run I don't want it to install xamp and something like that so let's just see docker hyphen compose up hyphen d uh, okay I might, might have to uh, run this as root could not could not connect to docker daemon at localhost is it running now this is because i have added a uh, certain thing in my bash rc so let me just do port dot real quick so that i can show you uh here is you can see i mean uh visual studio code and the how okay that, that is another part which is important so if i just go to code so which is visual studio code which is the you know uh open source id so let me just go to uh, or let me just close remote connection first okay if I just go over here then you can see I have this remote WSL extension installed and since now I'm working with WSL I can directly connect to my uh, distribution which is default now here like this so all the WSL distributions will be listed in here and I can jump and connect to any WSL distribution okay so let me just try to connect to uh, WSL so you can see I'm in the slash home directory. Let me actually go here and bash rc. And here I've exported certain things for uh, yeah this one Docker host. So let me just remove that. I manually did it first of all without upgrading the WSL version. So let me just save it. And if we do, do we have anything else apart from it? I don't think so. So back to our Windows terminal let's just say uh, not code dot actually docker compose up so let me just open another terminal uh, which is going to be my ubuntu terminal cd to slash home slash scitech slash project slash dockerization slash php okay and here i'm just gonna use docker compose up hyphen d there we go so docker is working and is working fine i don't have to do anything like export path and stuff like that uh, so i guess that's it for this video uh, for the reference you have these links okay uh, you can refer to and i will post the link to this presentation as well as uh, 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 some description contents in the uh, description below so guys thanks for watching that's it for this video have a great day bye bye